Well, the key to implants is uh, that we've learned is surface texture and macroscopic design. Uh, also, the fit of the connections of the abutments. I think you got the three pieces, the abutment connection, the, what's at the top of an implant uh, uh, in terms of uh, surface texture, what's in the middle of an implant surface texture-wise for bone, and of course the macroscopic shape, tapered versus straight, cylindrical versus a screw. Those are the big changes that have taken place. Well, from top to bottom, one is that you have to have a very precise fit of the abutment into the implant itself. Because micro leakage and micro movement are very, very negative uh, uh, towards the tissue in the bone and will increase inflammation. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you want in an implant is uh, a screw form because it has much more surface area and it gives you a, uh, a more initial stabilization than let's say a press fit cylinder. Both can work if they have texture, but we've seen that that doesn't hold up as well as the uh, a, th a threaded implant. Uh, you also need to look at the texture. Osseointegration does not take place. Bone does not fuse to an implant if it's polished. So surface texture becomes a very critical piece. If you don't have some texture, uh, you will not be able to integrate. You'll be able to, even if you leave it in the bone for six months, you could eventually just give it a little crank and it'll come right out. So there's a combination of surface texture that you want uh, that will, bone will grow into it and lock into it and take the load of, of bite, of biting force. But at the same time, you want something that if it gets exposed near the top of an implant, that is not a periodontal nightmare, not too rough, so that the bacteria don't just lodge in there. And this is the balance that we all seek today. You also might want to have some type of a taper. Uh, it's not mandatory in the screw, but a slight taper will give you much better initial stability, just like a carpenter's wood screw. It's tapered uh, because it gives you better stability because it pushes the bone laterally and it creates a better locking mechanism than a parallel walled screw. So that's the other thing that most implants that have some form of a taper, various degrees, but some form of a taper will also give you better initial stabilization so that you can load the implant sooner because of the mechanical stability. One of the things that I do like is what happens at the top of an implant. One is the, the fact that uh, I like the fact that uh, the top is not as rough as, as the middle and bottom of an implant. I think that's important for periodontal health in case it gets exposed to saliva and bacteria. And some will, and it happens to every implant. Number two is a platform switch. The platform switch, I think, should be on every implant today. It helps preserve the bone at the top and gives more room for any possible inflammation from the abutment connection to be dissipated so the bone stays higher on the implant instead of having to move away from that potential irritant. The other thing that is new and we're all exploring it is color at the top. One of the negative things about implants is because they tend to be gray, they're made of titanium. Uh, what happens is you sometimes get a graying effect if the tissue is thin through the front of the tissue and has an aesthetic compromise. We're looking at how thick that tissue has to be. We're doing research right now on different colors. But one of the colors that's been looked at is uh, yellow and, and pink. And yellow seems to give the, uh, the warmest and least amount of color change to, uh, to tissue. And so yellow is on the top of this implant, uh, the biodental implant. I, I look forward to exploring that further uh, because I think that that has great potential to maybe aid in uh, maybe not having to worry about the thickness quite as much as we, as we do today with a pure titanium gray implant. Implant dentistry in five or 10 years is first of all, almost gonna be completely digitized. I think um, the digital dentistry is here to stay. It's gonna increase in numbers. It'll increase in popularity among specialists, certainly, and also generalists. It already is starting to go volumetrically up in terms of percentage of use. I think uh, some companies have that systems down and the companies that put it together uh, from beginning to end will be the companies that I think will succeed the most, besides having quality parts, of course, if they're doing into implants also. Mm -hmm.